Uh, yeah, I haven't made any videos since this June buggy project, which has been going really well. It's currently for sale if anyone's interested. Five grand with this trailer. I'll, well, I'll clean that trailer up for you, no problem. Got plenty of paint there to, I'll do a nice silver gold finish on it. Um, yeah, look, it's like great condition. Um, yeah, anyway, so what I've made this video for, this is my latest project, which is a turbojet engine. Um, which is like a million videos on YouTube, and I thought, bugger it, I'm making one. They look pretty cool. Um, I recently picked this turbo up from a guy in Bundaberg, New South Wales, who was replacing it with a higher flow version. It's a HE18 um, turbocharger off a Nissan Pathfinder 4.2 litre. Um, yeah, it's a great little turbo, you know, like it's got a 46mm inducer. Like, no damage whatsoever. Um, yeah, no chips or anything like that. Uh, it's been, I cleaned it all up and it's like brand new in there. Um, and a 47mm turbo fans side. Maybe it's 46, I don't know. I'm trying to measure it, but you can't fit the calipers in there, so I'm trying to do it as well as I can. Um, anyway, so... I've designed the uh, combustion chamber for it. It's going to be uh, 30 centimeters long by 14 centimeters wide on the in the flame tube, and I'll have. I'm lucky enough. My dad can get um, this sort of um, like cone-shaped stainless, which I'll have that sort of like maybe starting from here, going up towards there. You know, and like keep on going until it's the same size as that. So I've got to calculate the volume on that, but it won't be too hard. Um, yeah, so this one's got water cooling. This is the water in, I think. It looks like the oil, but it's actually the water. I was surprised too. Um, and this is the oil in, and this is the oil out. Down the bottom there. Um, yeah, so I've, took, I've taken off the waste gauge, which was mounted there. But this has been twisted around, that used to be up there. And it was for the, and it went onto this. I think the waste gauge is, I'm not 100% sure, but um, when the pressure builds up too much here, when you compress the side, uh, there's a pipe going from here to this little pipe there. And um, maybe there's a control unit in between, but what happens is this, it's like a piston actuator. That's connected to there. That pushes open this, which lets, lets excess pressure out on this side, um, on your exhaust side, which um, which slows down the t the um, turbo fan, and um, which then slows down the um, compressor fan, which um, dumps some of your power. I don't really know. I'm just making that up. Um, yeah, so look, I'm just trying to get the stainless steel at the moment because you have to buy stainless steel because it's such expensive stuff. You have to buy it in lengths of at least three meters. And I'm not going to buy that for a 30 centimeter project. So I've got to wait until someone goes in there and wants two and a half meters so I can get that half a meter of scrap, um, which I don't know long, how long that's going to take. Um, yeah, so, and then this outer piece, I'm going to make them both stainless. So I did a whole lot in stainless, including this little bit here, which will make it all nice. Um, and I'll weld it in stainless rods, so I won't have to be painted in fi um, fireproof painting, which will make it really practical. Yeah, so it should be a good little project. I'm not making it for thrust. It's only going to put out a maximum of uh, 25 pounds. I think I calculated it at 1800 RPM which is um, pretty low really, like it's not going to move you on a go-kart. Um, luckily the guy in Hastings, where it, like it's just down the street for me, um, he's building up a, um, a turbojet cart um, out of twin um, Cummins ST50 turbos, which are the big truck turbos off the 10 litre caterpillars. Um, so that'll be a beast of a thing I'll get to see how that thing goes and I'll eventually do something like that when I sell that thing um, I'll have a bit of money left over so I'll be able to make something like that but yeah like it's gonna be a great project and 
what I was going to say is like, um, if because I know there's a lot of experts out there on jet engines. So look, if you've got any advice, I would be interested. I was interested in um, water injection on them. I was thinking this little thing here. If I pull this out, I have a little injector in there. I uh, could have water injection, which um, I know it sounds weird on something that runs on fire, but um, because water, when it evaporates, it expands like 200 times. So if you spray liquid water in here and it hits this, it'll expand 200 times, which gives you um, 200 times the volume, which will give you thrust. So um, like they're even doing it in cars these days, so you can get these modern cars with uh, water injection. It's different to hydrogen injection, like HHO cars, which are a load of shit. Um, I won't talk about that, but it's basically a scam. Um, yeah, so that's something I might be able to work on. But yeah, like as I said, if you got any advice, that'd be great. Like I tried with a um, pulse jet, as you can see, sort of poking out there. I think I made a video on. I can't remember, and uh, that sort of worked. But like, I'm hoping this will be a lot more exciting. So yeah. Uh, I'll post some more videos probably next weekend when I get some more parts together.